Well, you know how it works around here. Mix in a little rain with rush hour, and it's a recipe for gridlock on our local roads. And in Maryland, one group is taking a closer look at the worst bottlenecks and working on ways to fix them. Transportation reporter Brianne Carter, live in Potomac with bottleneck number one. Well, Leon, just imagine this, 80 hours of lost time just sitting stuck behind the wheel. That is the same thing as losing two weeks of vacation. And now we know the number one spot where that happens, just down the way here along 270, where the spur happens right at the Beltway. Well, this is the number one bottleneck in Maryland, according to a new study released earlier today. Now, here along 270, we have nearly 10 different spots that rank out of the top 30 bottlenecks that are here across Maryland. Now, today, transportation officials and advocates came together to say, well, yes, strides have been made over the past couple of years, but the backups are just still too much. While the 270 spur is the worst, 95 at Greenbelt Metro Drive comes in number two, 95 north at Maryland 100, and southbound 270 at the spur round out the top four. Tonight, Maryland leaders say they're working on a plan that won't take a decade to implement. Half of those bottlenecks in the state are on I-270. So we, we know we have a problem. That's why we're trying to tackle the most congested route in the state first. So, of course, many today talking about, well, would widening be the answer since the lanes here narrow? Well, they say that would be 10 to 15 years out. Now, coming up tonight at 6, a plan that won't take that long. And just how soon we could learn more about that plan. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News. Okay.